Okay, this is my EDC everyday carry video about uh, my computer bag. If you've already seen the other video about what I carry when I go to Rockford or go traveling on my bike or something like that, then you're already familiar with this line of bags. Um, just different color, really cool. Uh, let's see. I carry Bible. Various scraps of paper to write on, uh, notes for I'm, something I'm wanting to write down. I carry this cable, which is probably a cell phone charger or something like that. Same precise V5RT pen. This is a great pen. Rich, thick black. It doesn't create the two lines like a lot of pens do. It creates a single line. Uh, here's just more paper, and these are things, uh, the green ones are, uh, item requests at a library when you're wanting to enter a library loan. Or actually, no, these are for wanting them to purchase, when you want them to purchase something. This O-ring, which I haven't really found a use for, but I'd rather have it than not have it. <clears throat> Let's see. This is various papers and stuff that I use if I'm wanting to um, check on see if I want to save these. Like if they're laying around the house and I don't know if I want to look up a website I've written down in years past. I want to double check to make sure I don't want to get rid of them. Um, and then I've got here, which is an iPod charger connector. In case I want to connect my iPod. And I carry, just because I found it recently, a Kubaton and use it like this and if someone messes with you this goes all the pressure you can force into that little tiny point and you start hitting bones and stuff it's generally going to be pretty painful um, I carry a water jug over here usually um, carry this, pick this up for like $3.99 at Menards, and it is an unmanned vehicle, powered by USB. No, actually it's a laptop fan, and it will cool off your laptop, keep it from burning up. Really, really good pair of Sony headphones, use these all the time. What prevents Christ-likeness? This is just a CD I have, so in case I meet somebody and get into a conversation, I want to give it to them, or maybe for a relative or something like that. Uh, I just make up CDs sometimes and give them out. And so, this is the laptop section with a pad. <clears throat> This is my MacBook, no, iBook G4. So that's my laptop. It's actually turned on because I've been using it. I just put it back in here for a minute to show you guys. The cord, power cord, three prong adapter, just in case wherever I'm plugging in only has two. like that's about it. That's about it for what I carry on this one. Um, yeah, and then sometimes I'll swap out different cords and stuff, but that's generally what I carry. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for instance, says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, 
It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19-20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 10.9-10 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.